Today we're talking to Snorkel City manager Ian Anderson from a very chilly Clarence Park where the Saints have gone out of the FA Trophy with a third qualifying round defeat at home to Whitehawk, a 1-0 defeat. You said Ian, we had the chances to win it Saturday and we paid for it tonight. Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, as I said, after the game on Saturday we had enough chances I felt to win the game and for me, I think, um, especially the way we started the game in the first half, I think we felt the game was already won and before we knew where we was we were 1-0 down. We acted after that, we had to make some, some changes in terms of personnel and the shape slightly and we got back in the game and we've had two or three really good chances to, to get an equaliser and hopefully could have gone on and won it but today wasn't, it was probably one of them games a bit too far for us. Yeah, we got off to a bad start after just 12 minutes, Ben Martin had to go off with an injury. Yes, and uh, I felt that just obviously it didn't help our shape a little bit. We seemed to we seemed to struggle to get to grips with Mills today, and, and, and obviously playing Tom Bender at centre half when he's normally a left back, um, and then obviously switching Ben Hurd uh, Ben Hurd from right back to left back, and I just felt it just caused us a few problems early on. We seemed to take sort of 15, 20 minutes to get used to what happened, um, but also in that period we probably created two of the best chances. With Junior had two great chances to. Uh, to put us in front, which we didn't do, then we come under pressure, we started to give the ball away cheap and as I say, I felt the first half was probably the worst we've played nearly all season, even as bad as what we was at Bath. One chance in particular that came Junior's way after about 20 minutes, fantastic clearance off the goal line, but from that distance you would expect Junior to bury it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think he's gone for power when probably a little bit more guile or maybe just chipped it slightly, he would have gone in, but you've got to say at the end of the day, you've said it there, it was fantastic defending, it goes back to the defending they did on Saturday where they got two on the, on the goal line and cleared cleared it Saturday so you know we, we can't be moaning what's happened tonight for me we haven't played well enough we haven't had that sparkle we've had in previous weeks it was um, it was a little bit cold maybe for one or two we've turned up tonight and uh, it, it was a disappointing performance for me I think we're better than that we have to be better than that if we're going to progress now in the league um, it's important we bounce back on Saturday and uh, try and get all three points against Eastbourne. One strange thing that came out tonight sides generally prefer attacking down the slope towards the Hatfield Road goal, but neither side got a shot on target on that goal. I know we hit the woodwork and that was the closest either side came. Yeah, it was just probably one of them games. I mean, I think people said that the, the bottom goal mouth was quite frosty anyway and it was quite hard in there, so whether that had something to do with it, I don't know. But I don't think we really moved the ball well enough today. We didn't get the opportunities to get shots away and when we got out wide, the crossing we put in was poor. We just started to lump it into the box with height and their defenders were quite happy to come and head it. Um, we didn't really have Ben's presence there, but obviously because he'd come off. Um, so it was a little bit of huffing and puffing, and uh, probably in the end we just uh, huffed and puffed too much really, and we just didn't get any quality in and around the box. We didn't get our shots away when we could have done. And we ended up, as I said, there started to put just chipping balls in the box, and they were happy to deal with that the rest of the game. Lack of quality around the box, we missed David Noble tonight? I think we did miss David Noble, especially in and around the, uh, the, the centre circle and obviously around the 18 yard box. But even you know, young, like, you know, Sean Lucian and Junior and, and Theo and Sam Merson, you know, they've had some great link up play this year. We, did, we were missing that tonight as well, we didn't really link it. I think everything was just trying to, trying to force things, force things, force things and, and I think we're better than that. We need to try and pass it a bit more, especially in the final third. And uh, It's been like that in the last uh, sort of two or three games we've said before. We we're looking to try and get the perfect goal now and we, we need to make sure that we just play to basics, get balls in certain areas, put teams under pressure, when we've got a chance to cross the ball we cross it, when we've got a chance to pass the ball we pass it and then when we get a shooting opportunity we've got to go and shoot. So for me we've had opportunities, we've had three or four really good opportunities again tonight, we've not, we've not punished them and we've been punished ourselves by poor defending from, uh, for three minutes into the second half. Getting back to David Noble, two games in three or four days, it's too much for him physically at the moment? He just felt he's, um, he's, he's uh, hamstring a little bit in the last five minutes on Saturday, so it was really a precaution tonight. If we really had to, to, to force him to play, I think we probably could have done that. But it's silly to, to risk with what we've got coming up in December. Um, you know, one of our players that, that you know we rely on quite a lot because you know his quality on the ball makes a big difference to us. Um, so it was right, and it gave Matty Ball a chance. I felt Matty. It was, it was a shame we had to take Matty off because we needed his we needed his passing and his guile in there. But I just felt we needed to get the extra body up front today with with Sam Merson. I felt they were starting to dictate that back four was was totally in charge of what we had going forward today. We didn't pass the ball well enough. You know, we never had enough guile about us in terms of the passing. Um, and I just felt putting another presence up there in Sam's presence, put four forwards up there really and went for it and uh, we had nothing to lose but we just wasn't quite good enough at the end. You gave credit to the Whitehawk defence there and it is very rare for us not to score this season of course. Uh, 
for them, they lost their manager this morning, but they really did knuckle down well. Yeah, and I said that to the players before the game, you know, that can work two ways when your manager walks out or whatever he did in the end. Um, but you've got a new manager, you know, they, I think they want to give it to Ben Strevens, I think um, that's what they're trying to say. So, you know, they might have all come together and said, let's go and get the job for him by doing that. You know, it, it, you're going to get a reaction when a manager leaves, you're going to get a reaction from the fact is that they want to do well for the new guy and, you know, Ben Trevins has got friends in there, he's played with them a lot at Eastleigh, played with a lot of them there and they might want to get in the job. So the, the, the question was we need a reaction, we need a reaction and for me I felt a few players felt tonight that the, the, the job was done Saturday and we bring them back here and it's just a matter of turning up and winning the game. We have no divine right to win any game of football, we have to earn the right to win a game of football and for me we didn't earn the right tonight and, and that's the things we have to do and get back to basics on football. Great thing in the world about this is we're at the end of November. I think this is one of the first times we've spoken here, and we're all sort of a little bit disappointed. I mean, it's been a good season up now. This is just one off. Yeah, I think you did right there, Neil. But you know, for me, we set standards, and and tonight our standards dropped from below where we've been, and it's shown. And the things that we speak about all the time in the change rooms, you have to earn the right to win a game of football. You have to have standards, and if they drop below where we are then we'll, we'll get our backside smacked and we got them smacked tonight because we dropped our standards, we didn't do the basics right, we didn't prepare properly before the game I felt. We were, we were coming out in little, little bits here, two or three coming out at a time and you know, that comes from me, that comes from the coaching staff, that comes from the players, you know, we have to get back to basics. I know it's difficult on a Tuesday because some players are coming in from work and we arrive at different times. The pitch you know, was a little bit frosty in places but it was perfectly playable and all those things have to be right in terms of the players' mindset. For me the mindset wasn't right today and I said it before and I say it again now, I felt the job, some of the players felt the job was done on Saturday, we reminded them before the game about their manager walking out, we've reminded them about how much they might respect they want to give the new manager the job, we've reminded them about that we have to go and earn the right to game of football and we didn't do it and full credit to them, they defended very very well, the, the free in midfield kept the ball very very well, I felt Sergio Torres and, and Mills bossed the game for them today and, uh, and we couldn't get to grips with that but it still doesn't take away, we've had three or four excellent chances and we've failed to, to take our chances. We've hit the crossbar, Sam Merson should score over header in the last five minutes and Junior's had two great chances in the first half. And if you don't take your chances, you're always going to be susceptible to, to a counter-attack, to a goal that they've scored. And then uh, we've huffed and puffed last sort of 15, 20 minutes, not really looking as if we're going to get a goal out of the game. Yeah, perfect chance to bounce back on Saturday against Eastbourne back here at Clarence Park. Which is great, and we've done that already this season in the, in the three defeats we've had in the league. We've bounced back, and obviously the defeat against Carlo, we bounced back. So, you know, I expect that, you know, we said Thursday night we need to train hard, we need to get back to basics, and then hopefully, hopefully tonight is something we've learnt in terms of of what we have to do to win a game of football. Hopefully players will take on board that you know we have no divine right to just turn up and, and expect us to go out and win every game 5-0 because it's not going to happen. We've seen the last three weeks the respect that East Farrick has shown us, that Whitehawk has shown us um, in, in terms of, of you know Saturday and tonight. So we've struggled to score goals. It's not as the fact is we're not creating chances, we're creating chances. Now we've got to go and punish teams by taking them chances. But teams, when you're going to score 15 goals in three games, teams are going to respect you, which they've done. They're setting up slightly different against us now, and it's been, it's been hard. And at the moment, we never had enough guile and quality to break their back four down today, and we never got any chances on, on, on sorry, any shots on, on target. And that comes from the fact is that, for me, I don't think we, we, we really approached the game in the right frame of mind tonight. But as I said, you know, that comes from me. I've got to make sure players approach it right, and that's something we'll be working on between now and, and Saturday. And as it stands at the moment, December the 10th is a free weekend, but will there be a, possibly a change? Well, hopefully, I mean, I think, I think Margate's got beat tonight, so hopefully we can, we can get a game organised with Margate. I'm sure they'll be looking for a home game on that date. They'll uh, obviously, hopefully, might need the, the finances from it. Plus, it'll help us going down there on a Saturday and not having to go midweek. Uh, though there's not a problem going midweek, it just makes things a little bit easier, and uh, it's better than having a game than having a spare weekend. But, to be fair, I'd like to be playing Weymouth fear rather than uh, going to Margate, so that's how I feel at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Margate game. Lovely, thanks very much, Ian. And Thank you. you. Some of you may have recognised the name Ben Strevens in there. Well, he played for us 15 years ago, scored three goals in six games. So the Saints are back at Clarence Park on Saturday, the 3rd of December, against Eastbourne Borough National League South. Kickoff is at 3 pm.